Hey there and welcome to another video. In this video, we will continue learning maternity starting with contraction stress test. A contraction stress test is performed with the use of either nipple stimulation or using oxytocin via IV. Another reason why a contraction stress test is performed is due to a high-risk pregnancy. Important nursing interventions for this test includes the following. Explain the procedure and obtain informed consent. Obtain baseline fetal heart rate, fetal movement, and contraction pattern 10 to 20 minutes before and 30 minutes afterward. Initiate method and observe for uterine tachycystole, which is hyperstimulation. Obtain at least three contractions in a 10-minute period, each lasting 40 to 60 seconds. Maintain bed rest during the procedure. Now once the test is complete, you will need to interpret the findings. Test results are either negative, positive, equivocal, suspicious, or unsatisfactory. Here are examples of positive findings. A negative contraction stress test is when there are at least three uterine contractions in 10-minute period with no late decelerations. This is a reassuring finding, normal result. Here are examples of negative findings. Late decelerations occur with 50% or more per contraction. This is a non-reassuring finding. This can be suggestive of uteroplacental insufficiency. Next, let's talk about a biophysical profile. This is a test that uses real-time ultrasound to visualize the physiological characteristics of the fetus. This test includes an assessment of five variables which are fetal breathing movements, gross body movements, fetal heart rate, reactive fetal heart rate during non-stress test, and amniotic fluid volume. For each assessment, the purpose is to award a score of zero, which means abnormal finding, or two, which means normal finding, to each variable. Let's go over each variable for a better understanding, starting with fetal breathing movements. If the fetus breathes at least one episode of 30 seconds, in a 30-minute period, this is normal and gets a score of 2. If the fetus is absent of breathing or breathes less than 30 seconds duration, this is abnormal, therefore the score is 0. Gross body movements at least three body or limb extensions with a return to flexion. This is a good sign and gets a score of two. Less than three episodes of extension to flexion. This is abnormal and gets a score of zero. Fetal tone. At least one episode of extension with a return to flexion. This is normal and gets a score of two. Slow extension and flexion, lack of flexion, or absence of movement. This is abnormal and gets a score of zero. Reactive fetal heart rate. If a non-stress test is reactive, this is normal and gets a score of two. If the non-stress test is non-reactive, this is abnormal and gets a score of zero. Amniotic fluid volume. If there is at least one pocket of fluid equal to or greater than two centimeters or more than five centimeters of total fluid, this is normal. The score for this is two. If pockets are less than 5 cm, this is abnormal. The score is 0. Now, after calculating each variable, the scores are added up. A score of 8 to 10 is normal, a score of 6 is borderline, a score of 0 to 4 is abnormal meaning immediate interventions are needed to save the fetus and mother. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video we will continue the lesson by learning about amniocentesis. Thanks for watching.